to go. Got my good side. Hey, fashion star. Uh, my name is Donald Hayes. I am a 33 year old uh, ex teacher turned fashion designer uh, here in Cleveland, Ohio. Okay, I'm trying to make myself look slim, you know, because, you know, film adds, you know, extra pounds on you. But right now, we're standing in front of um, my workspace here on uh, West 33rd in Paris. Here in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, I'm gonna take you guys up to the loft so you can, uh, you know, check things out. So we're sitting outside of the design studio. It's called Design Lab Inc. This is where you know all the creating gets and goes down. Um, it's a co-op that I started for independent designers um, to give them an opportunity to be able to showcase their work. So we're gonna go ahead inside. I think it's a pretty cool space. High ceilings. We have the Design Lab Inc. right here, although it's missing an end. But please ignore that. We're gonna fix that. Um, so I'm gonna take you in and show you my workspace around the corner here. This is a really cool space. I love the high ceilings. I love the exposed beams. Um, it's really cool. So this is the showroom area. Myself and another designer, uh, this crazy Russian, um, share this space and we actually do all work inside um, in house. One, two, three. Okay, so this is my design space here. This is where my little workspace area where I work at, this is actually a jacket that I'm working on. I swear it's taking me like 15 years. But, um, and I love working with upholstery fabrics, um, just experimenting. So this is the jacket that I'm working on. You know, you have like these exaggerated sleeves here. The zipper, of course, is not in yet. And then the back, you know, I want to uh, add the rest of these down here. My inspiration was actually a, um, a armadillo. So this is kind of reflective of that. You know, cool workspace, sewing machines, fabrics, some other stuff that I'm working on right now. So, you know, that's, that's about it. Hey, fashion star. Um, a little bit about myself. I was born in Louisville, Kentucky, as we pronounce it, Louisville, um, but in the country. So I'm a country boy. I was born in Louisville, Kentucky. I was raised by my, my grandparents. My grandmother was Catholic and my grandfather was Baptist, so that made for a very interesting upbringing. Um, def although they did definitely instill a lot of um, old school values in me. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. All of that. Things of that nature. Um, I was an altar boy in the Catholic church and then I would be at the Baptist church as well. So I'm probably a little crazy because of that, but I was never touched. Never touched. I can attest to that. I was not one of those. <laughs> No. Which is true, I wasn't. But anyway, um, <laughs> um, I am the oldest of three. Um, yeah, I'm the oldest of three. So I'm the big brother. I have a little brother and a little sister. Um, and uh, yeah, I moved here. I moved to Cleveland, Ohio back in 1995 um, uh, when my mother's job transferred her here. She works for the government. So she decided to move to Cleveland from Virginia, which is actually where I spent most of my life growing up. You know, I, I was born in Kentucky, but I am born, I was raised in Virginia um, for the most part. Um, so I guess I'm kind of like an army brat, but not really. I don't know. So that's I'm rambling now. So I'm gonna stop right there. Walmart. Do I currently have uh, my own fashion line? Not sold at Walmart. Um, no, I do currently have my own fashion line. It's called Electric Canary. Um, that's my current collection. Um, I would describe it as a fuse between, well, kind of like my, my idea of a futuristic, uh, a futuristic, a futuristic. <laughs> so this is my current collection called Electric Canary. Um, I was inspired by the movie uh, Tron and also the movie The Immortals. So it's kind of fusion of that, mixing like hard materials with soft materials. Uh, once again, I love using like upholstery fabrics. You know, as you can see, I did a little cape lick with a upholstery fabric here. Did a little men's top, um, long sleeve with a, the, like a the little upholstery uh, inserts there. Um, I'm really inspired by like Japanese fashion too, so I, I like to you know just do things that's different. You know, I wanted to do something that's a little more futuristic, but still very commercial and sellable. So that's you know that's kind of what I do. Why do I love designing? What it means to me? I love designing because I just get to create whatever's in my mind. I get to bring you know my sketches to life, just my ideas, and just make them a reality. No matter how crazy they are, you know they're my designs. It's my creativity, you know, and. I think that's what I, I love most about it. You know, no one can put a hold on what I what I decide to do. It's all about what's up here. You know, so that's what I why I love design. It's just another art form, another way that I get to express myself. Pretty girl.
that I created, um, you know, also another picture of using upholstery fabrics here, kind of like a leather material, um, nice long skirt, I like to be very dramatic, so of course, there's a long train, I don't know where she's going in this, but you know, here we go, and lastly, one of my dye pieces, I do do male pieces, but I don't really do a lot of it, um, also from the Electric Canary collection, I was um, once again inspired by like the Japanese fashion, but you know, um, they have a zipper here, um, it's actually two pieces, it's a hoodie up under here, and then you have like your little hood that you can fold down, and then in the back, which is not easy to get into, so as a designer you have to think of being very practical, and I did it, but little snap details in the back, zipper, you know, to get into it, and that's about it. Why am I the next fashion star? Um, I think I'm the next fashion star because, <laughs> no, I'm joking, no, I take baths every day. Um, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the next fashion star, and let me be serious, I guess, but um, I'm the next fashion star because I feel that I'm very creative. I think that I have an understanding of how to make something commercial, but yet still very, still very. Um, I think I spoke Russian for a second there, I've been around my buddy too long, um, but very editorial and very commercial and merge those two together and find that happy medium, which I think sometimes fashion is missing, like everything seems very cookie cutter. I think in fashion, um, so I think you know we need people who are very have that raw creative talent, and I think I possess that. Um, and I think I just have a drive. Like this is what I love doing. I'm very passionate about it. Um, I can't see myself doing anything else. You know, I've already gave a lot of sacrifices already for for my dreams, and I'm willing to continue to give and give and give. And I think that's why I'm the next fashion star. I think I'm very relatable, and I think that. Also, in the fashion industry, minorities are underrepresented in the fashion industry. In my personal opinion, and it's my personal opinion alone, I'm just saying, you know, so, there you go. I'm next fashion star. 